Hello everyone and welcome back to Soma. So we're gonna start here for the final episode. Um, as this should be the final. Man, look at that. Wow. Anyways, alright, let's get this started up and let's go kill the WoW. Okay, so this is core chamber right here. Wow. <laughs> okay, hello. What the hell is that? What? It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of don't. Come on. Do it. Um... But I like my arms. I like keeping them. They're nice. I grew it myself. Um, oh, okay. Alright. You. That's the nastiest one I've had so far. Take my arm. Please. I did what you wanted. You did good, son. But you can't leave. Um, why not? The only way to make sure the WoW stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry. Oh, no. You. I need to launch that thing again. What was that? Um, hello? Okay, time to go. Yep, I'm running. No, no, you can't get me. Yeah, no, I'm good. You can keep that one to yourself. <laughs> Hello. Ugh, oh, you're ugly. Wait, can I still use these? Wait, have I been killing you well this whole time? Okay, time to go. You ain't gonna catch me. You wish you were fast as me. Okay, you're getting really close. Nope. And... Hello. You got me. That was not nice. Can I, can I please run? Which way am I going? Up? I would appreciate if you just left me alone. Hello. <laughs> Come on, almost there. Almost there. Ah, oh, crap. Hello, I'm barely alive. Come on, keep going. And 
hobble our way back. Come on. Open. Faster, please. Faster, please. Ah, come on. Come on. We're just going to close that. Okay, so swimming robot alien worms. Nah, I'll pass. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Because it would be a shame if it did not. What's in the service area? Huh. It'd be cool if you can see, like, little things. I cannot see anything properly. Okay, what am I doing? Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? Um, it's complicated. Hmm. I just need to know one thing. Whoa. I'll have both my arms in the other, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Fi. So it should be around somewhere. Okay, so I'm in the observatory. Let's go get it. Okay. Sign, Herbert, launching the Ark, one last visit. Okay. The satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the path. So when you mean space gun, you actually mean space gun. Enough momentum huh. to escape Earth's gravity is gained before progression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Okay. Tell them transport. Um, t -t 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 -t. Launch domes over there. Cargo's in here, so I gotta go back this way and through there. There, okay. Staff activity. Just went there. Launch log. Um... After 10 years, we'll be shut down. To make apocalypse make it redundant. Okay, um, cool. Did you find out what happened to the ARC team? They all died. Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the lock when they took the ARC back to town. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt Ooh, it. look at that arm. I'm going go, that's nasty. You know, I really like that arm, too. I'm a left-handed shooter, so that would kind of suck a lot. Okay, is there a hole I can plug into? Yes. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? Whoa, 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 whoa. actually, that makes it where I can't go in that door. Using patchwork of moments to me. What time has it been? What day? It's May 11th, 2104. 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. It's 3.30 a.m.? Dude, it's past my bedtime. It's not good. Um, I wasn't supposed to plug into that. I think I might have screwed up. Just a little bit. I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a real. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. Who am I? You're Simon Jarrett. Good job. 
Okay. Oh man, I kind of really want to know what's in that door. Good job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the arms into a shell. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Like I changed my mind about the You sure as hell didn't tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop inside Alpha to help kill the whale. What? Ow! What? Stop it. Okay, let's just get back to work. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that? Hold on, hold on. I need to plug you in real quick. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. That looks like on it. Catherine. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity Are you has murdered? to survive this hell. I mean, obviously. No, we right. launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the arc. I'm taking it. No, you're not. Oh. I'm not gonna let you ruin this. Stop it! Guys, calm down. Get away from me! No! Oh, fuck. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh God. Yeah. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine? Oh, Don't I need that battery. Do, 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 do. I go get the battery. How did you die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the ark. Thought it might not make it to the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just yeah, sure. <laughs> After all, they're definitely not crazy human beings. Is there anything to do over here? No. Okay. How can I Pretty sh Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just don't think you trust me. Come on. Don't do this to yourself. Okay. Let's go shoot this thing into space. That's cool. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. <laughs> but I am. System say go. Lock and load. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? Ouch. There was some. Jesse and Mr. Shaw. Okay. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship. Now I feel even worse. Well, here's how you died. That makes you feel any better. Here's a murder weapon right here. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're unlucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, with thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Well, I like you being all sentimental. 
Okay. Now um, what? Man, we just need to get the shell onto the gun, and then kaboom. Kaboom. Are you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, uh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the. But there's gonna be another copy left. Seat, and I'll guide you through the final steps. There's going to be another copy left down here. At least should be, or else that'll be just like a, like a yeah, that'll be a big plot hole that shouldn't be left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a copy left down here. Wait, why are we going outside? Creepy monster dude. Done yet? Come on, it's just water pressure. You can kill me if it wants. Pretty much dead, anyways. Open. Please. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Look at that. That's a big toy right there. Can I get up close and personal with it? Where's the payload? Oh, it's right there. There you are. Oh, that's cool. Zavlev. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Okay, big gun that go kaboom. Nice. Okay, where am I going? Up here. Restricted area. Nuh uh. Alright. Plug you in. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Oh, wait, then what's gonna happen to you? We don't have things like to kill us here. Because if we kill ourselves like immediately after the scan, then that means. We get transported to there. Huh. Well, let's see how this works. As good as it's gonna get. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to fake the scene. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Cool. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so there's the payload right there. Pick it up. Okay, you gotta hold down the mouse and let go. Oh, I can literally bring it anywhere I want. Huh. Alright, I gotta bring it over here. Okay, you are nice and loaded. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Well, that doesn't seem very smart. I feel like that could go wrong. Like, really could. Okay, well, it was what are nice you waiting for? Just bracing myself. Yeah, well, this is... push the button when you're done. Okay, fine. Oh, Here you go. No turning back. Thank you, Sam. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. All right, let's scan this. Time. Seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Let's give it a second. I thought you guys got a better bandwidth in the future. Sending Selma template. Okay, Catherine made it on the arc. 
Ten seconds. Nine. Uh -oh. Eight. Seven. Um. Six. Come on, sign it. That's not good. That's not good at all. Nice. Um. Nice. Still here. Oh. Still here. Catherine? Catherine? I'm here. What the hell happened? What went wrong? Nothing. They're out there. Among the stars. Ah, oh, we lost the coin flip. No. We were getting on the arc. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the arc. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something was on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking ark. To be oh, fair. The ark, you idiot. I didn't lie. Uh oh. I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance. Fuck. No. Cortex chip broke. Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Oh no. Catherine? Catherine? Ooh, wow. Dude, I couldn't imagine being the only person, only sentient being on planet Earth. That's gotta be at least one of the worst fears of mine. Holy crap, that was... Writer Michael Hedberg, man, that guy's crazy. Wow, that that hit. I'm gonna remember that for forever. Damn, because like being completely alone has got to be at least one of the worst fears of mine. Um, I've always had you know some team with me, whether it be you know family, whether it be. Um, you know, my team here in the military, um, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't take loss very well, um, and whenever something happens, like, let's say a breakup or whatever, um, like, I just went through one recently, actually, um, I went back and forth for, like, two years, but, um, yeah, feeling alone, that, that's, I, I, I couldn't, and, so yeah, I really feel for Simon there. Um, honestly, if they made like a sequel of like what Simon did afterwards. Well, no, actually, I think this game is just good by itself. There's no need for a sequel. There's, you know, it's a really good concept. I, I really think it's very creative. You know, just like a little team down the bottom of the ocean things go terribly wrong but it really captures humanity and wow that's man I gonna do that honestly but yeah uh, you guys let me know what you guys think of the game like if you guys have seen it before you know where'd you see it if you guys have played it uh tell me what you found you know because i'm pretty sure there's some things that i missed uh just dude i love it this has got to be one of my favorite games so far actually the favorite one this, this is it it's my favorite game right here sad i won't be able to experience it for the first time again 
as well. Oh. Um, are we on the ark? Holy crap, we're on the ark. Is this... did it work? I don't have a flashlight. Okay. The sun? Oh, wow. That's... Wow. Holy crap, that's beautiful. Wow, this really does capture the you know, sun rays perfectly. There's a few glitches, but you can tell. Like, if you look over there, there's like a rock that glitches in and out of frame. But, you know, it is a simulation and everything. But, wow. Can I? Oh, wow. Can I go into the waterfall? Is there a secret behind it? No? Okay. Wow. You know, good thing I uploaded all of those, uh, you know, fluids and all that physics based stuff. Pretty sure I didn't upload the sun, though. Pretty sure that was the one that I'd take off. Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter. Bridge? Okay. Huh. Calibration survey. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the art. This survey is designed to give the, uh, the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. Physical condition? Dude, I feel... I don't know, I feel invigorated. Like, I have both my arms now. <laughs> How would you describe your mental condition? Uh, it is a change of character, honestly. Like, now you're just carefree. How would you describe your senses? Um, feel more sensitive to, yeah, because I notice things like sunlight and you know, glitching rocks, but that's okay. How do you describe the sensation of your new condition? It is pleasant. Uh, I like it. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? I feel bad for the siren before. Yeah, because... I'm, I'm a little troubled because I know that I'm not, like, flesh and blood in the physical world, but I'm still sentient, even if I'm nothing but computer code. Um, but I do mourn, like, I, if we could fix what happened on Earth. Yeah, so, then I would. How do you perceive your new existence? Um, it is a new chapter. It's a new chapter in your life. Um, yeah, we can find a new sense of meaning, you know, because it'd keep going. If we just randomly crash one day, then I guess whatever. But, um, do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? We can find a way to make it mean something. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept that? No. <laughs> I'm good. I'd rather not die right now. Wood. Is this actually the first time that we've seen... Like wood in the game. Huh. Wait. You guys see that? Hold on, what's that? Oh, glitching rock. Hello. You see, <laughs> you see all the rocks glitching out and stuff. Well, that's okay. What's over here? Huh. Hello, sunlight. 
Now, what is over yeah. here? Hello. What is that? Catherine. Oh, hello. I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, son. Everything's all right now. It better be. Is this showing us what the world looks like now? Oh, wow. The Earth is destroyed. There's a satellite getting into orbit. Holy cow. That asteroid destroyed us. You know how small that satellite is compared to like others? And that's all of humanity's on that small object? If we get picked up by like some aliens. <laughs> This game definitely makes you think. It's beautiful, honestly. I love space. Space is beautiful. Kind of scary, too, but it's okay. Humanity is alive, even for all just computer code. Some project awaiting to be picked up by some alien life form somewhere. All right. Oh, look at that. You notice how the beginning of this episode is all destroyed? Now look at it. Oh, wow. Huh. But yeah, that's Soma. It's, it's done. It's over. Um... Oh, look, it's slowly drifting apart, too. Alright, but yeah, um... Soma is definitely one of those games where... I wish I could experience it for the first time again. Um... And it would... Like, it just makes you think a lot. It makes you really feel your humanity. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, let me know what you think. Make sure you watch through all the episodes. I try to keep them as entertaining as possible, but uh, just like and subscribe for more. Uh, I'm going to find something else to play, and, well, this game really lived up to its expectations. I wanted to find something that, you know, you guys would enjoy and something that I would enjoy, and I certainly did. But now we got to move on. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of, you know, some more horror games or, you know, some little funny games, just let me know. But thank you all for watching, and you guys stay safe out there.